Hi, I'm Christine Fellingham, and we're back with another Monday Makeover. We're here again with Dr. Julian Samuels in her beautiful Norton Commons offices, and today she has a very special guest, her daughter Lexi. Um, Lexi is here today to talk about her struggles with acne, which she has obviously conquered at this point, but you really went through it for a while. Can you tell us what that was like? Yeah, um, I started with acne when I was like 14 or 15, and my mom always stressed to wash your face morning and night, and she gave me some good like starter cleansers and toners, but like nothing really worked for me or like my lifestyle. I was always outside, covered in dirt all the time at the farm, and um, during the pandemic, I kind of got really serious about uh, a skincare routine that like worked for treating my acne, and um, yeah, so. I started with this line and I, I've been really enjoying it. It's been really working for my skin. So what are you doing here like on a daily basis? Can you kind of walk us through yeah. how this is working for you? Yeah, so I use this cleanser and then this toner morning and night is kind of like what I start with. And then um, I use this cleanser in the shower uh, just because, like I said, I get really dirty out at the farm. So it's just I like to kind of have three washes to my face a day. Um, and then kind of go into like my acne treatment plan, which is this um, blemish age defense and then the phytocorrective gel. And I do that morning and night and then only in the mornings do I do like the Floritin CF. So, so we picked products for her skin type as well as for acne. And this is now what she goes to. This is her go-to tray. But she doesn't use this every single day. Mm -hmm. And I am just so happy that she's finally taken this approach. So I feel like her story is, you know, she's a twin. Her twin sister didn't have acne, but she had to deal with this. We tried antibiotics. We tried a little hormonal manipulation. And um, we are actually now going to probably do some smoothing of any residual effects of the acne that she has. But it really requires a commitment. And like she said, she rides horses. It's just not convenient. She goes to school. She runs out of products. So I think she's really um, taken ownership of making a difference when it was not too late. And I think that's a story for a lot of young women. And I think that we'll see now how they use the Exceed to sort of finish the story. Well, we're back with Lexi, and she's doing an Exceed microneedling treatment. Heather is performing the treatment on her full face. She has had numbing cream on for 20 minutes, but she doesn't feel much more than just a ball rolling across the skin. Um, and we're doing this to reduce the after effects of having dealt with acne, hyperpigmentation, acne scars. This device is actually FDA dual indicated for acne scars and wrinkles, and that makes it one of its unique characteristics, as well as the fact that Heather can choose the depth for penetration of these tiny needles. We might want to be not as deep in the fragile skin of the eyelid and a little deeper in the central cheek zones where the acne scarring is a little more severe. So she's gonna go back to work tonight. She's gonna wear a mask. And um, she will do four treatments over the course of the next six to 12 months. We're using it through retexturizing activator and using it therefore almost as a drug delivery system for retexturizing acne prone skin. So thank you for joining us for another segment of Great Day Live Monday Makeover.